Hello and welcome back to the training. So in this video, what I'd like to point out for you is the most crucial elements of when you actually click on the edit profile button inside of your Google business profile. So I'm going to start with three and I'm going to give you the breakdown of how to optimize your business description. All right, because it's massively important. And on top of that, this business description and what we're looking for as far as optimization is also going to be utilized inside of your service descriptions and your product descriptions inside your profile. So it's, 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 it's a trifecta of importance. All right. So I don't want to waste any time here. Let's get directly into the first three elements of the business profile. Um, and we're going to go right back to our example, our live business example. We're going to go to the business. We're going to click on edit profile. First and foremost, I want to point out the business name. Utilize your actual business registered name. You know, without going into it, I, I want to point out when you make it to the top, if there's anything that you have done wrong, it will be pointed out and it will cause you to get kicked back and to re-verify right? Your competitors will out you. Spam fighters are looking for you that they, they have taken it upon themselves. Like there's people literally just looking for anything, anything, right? So let's keep it on the up and up. We don't want to stuff in location or primary keywords here. If you absolutely have to, then pay the additional fee for a fictitious name or get a doing business as it's generally about 250, $300 you know, to register this, it's very simple. Zen business. There's tons of places to do it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Moving into the next section, which is category. All right. And I'm touching on these three because, you know, I want to point especially category out and, and the name because I see business owners get it wrong and I, I don't want this to happen to you. All right. So the category, oftentimes the consensus is, hey, let's just add the exact categories that the top performers have right? No, <laughs> absolutely not. What we want to do is we are looking for a primary service or a primary keyword, uh, a category, our primary category that encompasses everything that we do. Let's look at our example here. If you, you see how we picked towing service, even though we offer what 30 different things, they all center around towing and towing service or roadside services, right? It's a towing company, right? We, we do towing, we towings for everything. We offer little things, but our primary focus is towing. Everything else is secondary. Everything else can be talked about and linked to and described in the service and the product section. Even if you would like inside your business description, right? And on your website, this place here is to target and pinpoint the most important thing for your business category is one of the top elements to optimize and you want to pick one if you absolutely have to have two right you just have to we do both of these things we are the export experts we are the authority on these two things then you can add two but i would highly recommend only adding one staying hyper specific on that one thing and everything falls underneath that all right so with that being said, I want to go ahead and move right into the next element. So we've talked about the name. We've talked about the category. Next is the business description. The business description is actually very important. We ran a specific test related to uh, two business listings. We, we did it a few times, but the test specifically showcased that when there's no other factors, no traffic, no clicks, no reviews, right? It's just optimization of profile versus optimization of profile. They were identical. The only thing that was different was that inside of profile B, we optimized entity, co-occurring key phrase, the services and the products and the description were stuffed to the gills with entities, co-occurring key phrases, exact matches and locations, right? Locations are entities. So with that being said, after seeing this time and time again, we did two separate tests. The results were the same both times right? So clear and evident to me. <laughs> so what we started doing was we started focusing on entities and keyword usage. So here, let's go down here. I just want to point out something to you because you want to make sure that no matter what you have these exact elements, we want to make sure that in that first line, right? This first line here, 
some of the most important things that we want to talk about are our primary service. Okay. All right. So Spark Towing Services for this business. All right. In Santa Ana, California, servicing Orange County, CA, California. Entity, right? Entity, right? Service, entity, California, entity, Santa Ana, entity, services, entity, towing, entity, Spark is a brand, entity. You with me? All right. So we want to make sure we have that crucial information in the first line. The next aspect was I wanted to go out there and get and gather co-occurring key phrases. How I did this was I went into actual SEMrush. I typed in the primary term, right? Inside of the keyword magic tool, I typed in towing service. Inside of the keyword magic tool, what they're going to do is they're going to list keywords by relevance and usage, all right? In the left-hand side here. So if we have 183,870 sites that have said the word near, right? Would you say that this is a relevant term for towing service? Definitely. So what we're looking for and how we utilize this is anything that's a person, place, or a thing that is wildly used amongst a boatload of sites targeting this key phrase. These are your main entities. Without doing anything else, without using other tools, a lot of people have this. This is very easy to do and understand, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and come in here. Anything that's a person, place, or a thing, make a list. And that's exactly what I did. I made a list. Tow, towing. These are primary key phrases. Wreck, recovery, truck, road, near, auto, vehicle, roadside, company, family, price, RV, boat, limo. People, places, or things. All right. So with that being said, we went ahead and we wrote out a description that encompassed all of these entities, co-occurring keywords, our primary key phrase, and all of its variants, and of course, our brand name numerous times. All right. So as you can see here, Spark Towing Services, Santa Ana, California, servicing Orange County, California. Spark's team of expert towing operators are always on call, 24-7, roadside ready. Spark Towing Services spans past just car and auto towing, offering truck and RV tows, even limo. Uh, towing. Even limo towing, boat tows, Boat tows, ATV and heavy duty hauling. Okay. Sparks family owned, Sparks family owned towing company is ready, include, is always, always ready. even weekends and holidays. Don't hesitate to reach out to our Santa Ana CA office, CA office, um, with any, with your roadside emergencies. Um, Eh, we don't need that. All right. It's not a pitch. It's a description. All right. So we got our main services, primary keywords. We'll go ahead and put that inside of here. And that is going to be the top three sections. What I would be very focused on, uh, filling this out, entities, co-occurring key phrases, locations, and variants with the category one, what does, what embodies the whole company? And then the name, what is your name, right? Don't try to stuff this. We're not going to fool Google. All right. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and save this and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.